Hello and thank you for clicking on a series of videos that I do that everyone else calls vlogs. But I have now come up with a name at last for the series of videos of mine. It's called Vlogging Adam. I like it. So today being the 2nd of December, a lot of people who have now completely finished their advent calendar already, all 24 or if you're lucky enough, 25 days. But me this year, I'm doing things different. If I just grab this here, rather than just eating every single chocolate in the advent calendar, this year I'm going to try and do things properly. Um, this is my one, it's an Avengers one. Yes, and it is the 2nd of December, and as you can see, that's door number one, I believe. Yep, door number one, and up there is door number two, just behind Hulk's face. Uh, door number two. Now, most advent calendars, a lot of people do tend to eat them all in one go. As I say, I'm doing this a little different this year. But this particular advent calendar, and there's many more like it out there as well, this one is done by Kinderton, those fellas there. And I've got to admit, their chocolate is absolutely rank. Really, it is. I'm not promoting this. If I'm doing a review on it, I'm going to say it's rank. But I'm still going to eat it. Now, I'm not sure if anyone else has been having this problem at this time of year, which I think is a bit weird in December to be getting this, and that's those little, tiny, biting insects, which, over the years, me and the biting insects of flying variety, the uh, mosquitoes, midges, and all those other wonderful little things out there that fly, buzz, 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 fly, 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 then bite the living hell out of me. Over the years, I've had a major problem with them, but they this love picture, me. This picture, believe it or not, was only taken yesterday where one of the little blighters bit me on the head. And this one is a reaction I got from a biting insect not that long ago. Or I believe this one was a good while ago. I think this was a, a year ago now. Now I know I, there was a problem last night while trying to read the girl who kicked the hornet's nest while on fire who had a tattoo girl, the fourth one in the spider's web. I was reading it on my tablet and obviously lights are off and you've got the light beaming from the tablet. So I'm reading along like that. Then I noticed these flying things. First there was one, thought nothing of it, just the one flicked it away. Then I noticed two being attracted to the light. Then another one, then another one. And at that point I thought, right, something's gotta be done about this. So I turned it off, went to sleep, next morning, cleaned everything out, cleaned everything, every corner behind the wardrobe. I've had the wardrobe out, got behind there, put the wardrobe back, been in the wardrobe, done that, under the bed, all the bed sheets uh, have been washed even though there was no real need to, everything like that. But if they come back, I'll have them. A lot of people have asked me, why do you do the vlogging? Well, that's because many moons ago when it was starting to become a bit of a trend with people to blog with the written text, as it were, the written word. Um, I really wanted to do something like that, but because I suffer with dyslexia, I've dabbed in it. Uh, it's finding the motivation. It's like something there that's telling me, stop, you can't do this, don't bother. Now, I'd done media studies for two years, which was a good drinking session, to be honest. <laughs> it really was, particularly with the lectures and things like that. But... Um, the moving on sort of thing it really wasn't really getting me anywhere so i started going in the, off to work in the outdoor industry things like that yada 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 but it did sort of help me focus on these sort of things like i've done lots of voluntary work with the skills that i've picked up with media studies i have done radio work i don't mean sort of the djing sort of thing at community centers things like that i have done the sort of disco djing which is the most stressful thing i've ever done in my life particularly when no one's on the dance floor and they're all bursting out all the tunes but yeah i've found these forms i don't know if anyone's in teaching or i know a lot of friends who are in teaching right now who i don't know if this counts now but these sort of forms here these uh send freebie uh send free c and the same again um these are nearly 20 years old now these forms are and in there it just basically says that from the assessments that i've had that i um do suffer with dyslexia and these were 20 years ago and i was in year seven so in the 10 yeah age 10 11 12 sort of around that 
age period and you've got GCSEs coming up in you know only a few years so it's a bit short to get diagnosed I think if I was diagnosed a bit earlier maybe I might have done better academically but back then it was completely different I was the sort of last generation of people who were diagnosed with dyslexia while within a school environment learning environment you were just shoved to the corner the last generation now they get laptops and uh, grants left right and center if they go to university and it's like well f things have changed you know for the better I think but that's why I do the video and talk the talk rather than word the word in the written form I have got a blogging channel but I just oh, I can't get myself motivated to do to do anything like that where well, it's quicker to me to do these videos but I do them I enjoy doing these videos. This is this is a sort of hobby for mine. It's caused a lot of problems, left, right, and centre. A bit of stress when the technical side of things haven't worked. Um, some people who don't like the videos, and a lot of people who don't like the, vi the my videos, are the ones who haven't watched them. So that's that's a sort of weird thing. How can you hate something you don't know nothing about? Well, there you go that's what that's why I do them this is my sort of hobby so if you have made it to this part of the end of the video um, I'd love if you just leave a comment of what is your hobby so then I know you've got to the end of the video so yeah thank you very much I'm Adam Paul Morgan if there's any teachers out there who can sort of point me in the right direction what these forms what you know what how these forms could benefit me now in one way or another or what they're for do they still use this sort of um, these forms in schools these days I don't know I don't work in a school I don't want to go back to school um, but yeah thank you so much for watching I'm Alan Paul Morgan and Tarara bits I always catch that side when I do the Tarara bit thanks very much